Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. It's 
thanks to hard work. I must continue to work hard. Well, I'm glad I passed. I have succeeded! Huh, okay. No big deal, really. Good results. Revelation from the Goddess. To think we'll have the honor of attending such a historical event. I hear the Archbishop will accompany us to the Holy Tomb. If something happens to her, all of Fodlin will suffer. We must protect her at all costs. This may sound mad, but perhaps we don't have to worry so much about that. Lady Rhea has said before that she is capable of protecting herself. I have a feeling that is true. I thought it was a strange thing for her to say. And beyond that, her movements bring to mind a great warrior with an extensive military background. Mind, it's also possible that I'm way off track. Regardless, perhaps we should brace ourselves for anything. I never imagined attending a ceremony for a real revelation. I wonder what the ceremony will be like. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm not ready for this. There's no chance for battle unless something goes terribly wrong, right? Oh, boring. If you keep saying things like that, something bad is bound to happen. What's wrong, Flane? You look like you have something on your mind. Who, me? No. It is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. Your Highness, I will protect you no matter what. Uh, your Highness? <sighs> I haven't been sleeping well recently, and my head aches. But no need to worry. Let's focus on the task at hand. It's about time for Lady Rhea to arrive. Let's all steel ourselves for whatever may occur at this ceremony. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. Incredible. To think such a vast space has been hiding beneath the monastery all this time. I wonder what powers that giant mechanism that descends beneath the ground. 
This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Halt! Reveal yourself! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> Why is the Imperial Army here? This can't be. How did they get into Garrig Mach? Even the Flame Emperor is here. That can only mean... The Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. What do you know? I never imagined you'd have the nerve to return here. What are you after, Flame Emperor? Is it not obvious? The Holy Tomb contains great power. The power to rule all of Vodlin. And to attain that power, you'll trample anything that stands in your way. Just like you did in Dusker! I had nothing to do with that. Quickly, retrieve the Crest Stones. Kill for them if you must. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator!
I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The Crest Stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the Crest Stones as you can. Heretics! What could be gained from desecrating these tombs and disgracing the dead? I'll cut through. What should I do? Luck wasn't with you. This worked out well. That's my cue. Many skills, you know. Stay focused. I'm on it. know what those stones are?
Gotta stay focused. Should I have held back? Thanks. Sufficient. I must stay focused. I will get stronger yet. Quite helpful. Not quite what I was after. I aim for greatness. Just give up. I'm pretty much perfect. Another step forward.
eliminated. I even hear. to be done.
Another win. Stronger, huh? We'll see. Not at my best today. Yeah. A change for the better. That is that.
be done. You're so on top of it. Give up. Should I have held back? What's next? Guess I've gotten better. Quite helpful. Thanks. 
I did what I had to. Over already?
<laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Let's think carefully. Not try to say you have forgotten. Do you know just how many people died in Dusker? Why bother with this? Stay silent and fight. So, you want to turn your eyes away from the lives you have trampled? Dastard! You are a monster. The lowliest beast I have ever known. I will end it now. was just following orders. I just... Ah! I'll stick with it. Thank 
kill. You are the one person I did not wish to make an enemy of. We'll lend you a hand. It's time. Fear, then your life is forfeit. I must keep aiming higher. This should be enough. for you. I will take that head from your shoulders and hang it from the gates of Angmar! Before I break your neck, there is one thing I must ask you. Stay out of my way. I don't recall giving you permission to speak. Answer my question. That is all you have left to do. Flame Emperor. No. Edelgard. Tell me now. Why did you cause such a tragedy? <sighs> You killed your own mother, and yet you haven't even had the decency to stop and consider the reasons behind your actions! Have you?! I already told you I had nothing to do with that. 
It was foolish to think I could reason with a lowly beast. Your Majesty, now! You are a monster. Come, human. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. <sighs> we weren't able to defeat her. Your Highness. I will kill Edelgard with my own hands. I swear it! Let's return to the monastery, Professor. It is clear what must be done. So, he's finally shown his true face. The same Dimitri I've seen once before. A beast who loves spilling blood. You're wrong. I'm sure of it. There has to be an explanation. I knew he'd been carrying the burden of that tragedy. I understand his thirst for revenge. His family and closest friends, all massacred right in front of him. But it still doesn't add up. There must be more that we don't know. That's true. Dimitri didn't come unhinged until after the Flame Emperor was unmasked. You don't think there's some connection between those two, do you? The leaders of the Church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlan. Long ago, they divided the Empire to create a kingdom. And then, divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Bodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. Professor, the Empire has declared war on the Church of Seros. We knew this day would come, sooner or later. What's going to happen? We can't afford to be optimistic. It's entirely possible the kingdom will be invaded. Settle yourself, Ingrid. We need to carefully consider our options. We can't just act rashly. That will only make things worse. Once we've ascertained the situation, we must return to Ferdiad. Your Highness. <laughs>